MVP help those successful final games? How do I think it helped it? I think it helped it a lot because he's incredible. And I think bringing the two of us together was such an unexpected thing. And I think that his style completely complemented that record and it helped to make it as successful as it was, definitely. How was it working so. with Boys to Men? I love working with Boys to Men. Um, they are incredible vocalists and they're cool people and I like hanging out with them. So that's good. Are you starting a record company here? It's called Brave Records. Who told you that? I don't know. I because I never said know. that. Okay. <laughs> are you starting a record company? Yes, I am. When, when do you expect it to begin? Hopefully soon. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get everything together right now. So, you know, this year at some point. I'm sorry, excuse me? Um, there are no limitations, really, you know, just good music and whoever is out there. And, you know, there's a lot of great talent out there and a lot of people who, who need to get heard and need to be put out. Do you want Mariah? Mariah, in your acceptance speech, you said you felt a little bit weird about competing. Right. Mm -hmm. I just think that the whole principle of competition in music is a little bit of a strain because it's, it's not really about that to me, you know. It's, you know, it's all about everybody's individual artistry, but it's it's fun and it's great, and I think that it's you know it's all about having a good time. So. Why do you no, I'm not saying I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm not saying that that makes me feel like oh I'm better than somebody else because I happen to win the award. I think it's you know it's great and it's fun and and you know everyone else in the category is also very talented. And, well, this yeah. is both you have to top yourself the next time around. I don't know. <laughs> I just have to keep going. Um, actually, I just did a remix for the song um, "Always Be My Baby" with. Um, it's a so so deaf remix done by Jermaine Dupri, and I did it with um, Debrat and Escape. It's coming out very soon. I like Do you have any it. Place to go on tour again? I'm going to Japan um, in a couple months to do some shows there. Not American. I'm not sure yet. Probably, yeah. I was supposed to, but I don't know what's going on with it right now, so. I don't know. I mean, I just think it's all about timing and someone coming out with great material and the public appreciating that. Two final questions. How much fun is it for you to do a duet as opposed to singing? It's a lot of fun because I get a chance to, you know, um, blend my sound with other people's voices and it's, it's just a different thing than going in the studio by yourself. I've, I've actually had a really good time with it on this project. Right, what is the music you're doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The lady with her. The lady with her. Right. Do I have any idea? Who's sitting at home with a no? I mean, <laughs> it's supposed to be a representation of you know the fans and the record buying public. So it's um, to answer your question as well. It's it's an, an incredible feeling because you know that the public out there is responding to your music and to what you're doing. And you know you can't ask for anything more than that. That's what you dream about. You know when you get into this field. So. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.